Hello, Assalamualaikum everybody. Hope you're all safe, sound and healthy. And today is supposed to be the Independence Day of Pakistan, the 14th of August. But only a moron, only an idiot, only a traitor would right now celebrate Independence Day because we are not independent, as we have now very bitterly realized it. Uh, we are not at all independent. We are not at all free. So... Well, the people that are gathering out in the streets and the fact that the government is trying to once again censor the media, censor the news, the fact that the army is taking great pains to give long, boring, tedious speeches and thinking that they're going to be able to, you know, uh, once again uh, retrieve their relationships with the people, um, you know, the, the hopeless, hopeless acts of the government and the army i mean how can you retrieve and how can you repair your relationship with the people when you've once again censored the media and shut down the internet number one number two for days on end you have not allowed people who are using mobile data to communicate pictures videos and voice messages with each other do you honestly think that the world revolves around you that people have got nothing better to do for your information thanks to this act of yours you have given unlimited damage unlimited damage irreparable damage to businesses in pakistan not that you haven't done that before let me remind you of how many times in these two years you have cost us billions and billions in damages and losses not just to the cyber industry or the it industry but to the local businesses the national businesses the international businesses what few we have left <clears throat> You know, and then you're talking about how the division between the people and the army will not be tolerated. We will do anything in our power. And those who are trying to divide us and create a rift between us, they will fail. I'm sorry, nobody's trying to create a rift. You created the rift yourself. Then you're talking about terrorists and terrorism and that if you do not accept our constitution, if you do not accept the Sharia, we do not accept you. Who right now is going against both the Sharia and the constitution? You, the Pak army and your government, the American planted treacherous government, you, the law enforcement agencies, you are the ones who are going against the Sharia and you are the ones who are going against the constitution. Aren't you right now trying to once again, you know, create some sort of a new law, create an amendment within the constitution so that you can have full power so that the just chief justice of the Supreme Court should stay up to 16 years even if he needs to as a, instead of retiring at his right, right age. You know, aren't you trying to manipulate the system? Aren't you trying to manipulate the constitution? Who is doing it? These are words for us to say to you. We will not tolerate those who impede upon the system and who try to create unnecessary manipulations within the constitution and those who go against the sharia you went against the sharia your government has gone against the sharia and you're still doing it you're still doing it who's the one that was going around illegally surveilling people in their bedrooms this is a huge sin in sharia this is an irreparable sin this is a crime for which you can even be put to death if needed who is going around committing treason in the country? This is also against the constitution. This is against the Sharia. Why, are, why is it that you people are still here alive, well, and kicking and right on top of us? You are the ones who literally sign away your faith. You literally sign away your religion. You sign away your beliefs in order to get the positions that you've gotten today, both as chief of army both as as your ministers, as chief ministers, as president, as prime ministers. You signed away your religion. You signed away your faith. Who doesn't know that? We all know that. Now, who are you messing with? Who are you joking with? Who the frack are you trying to lie here to? I don't know. You know? I mean, and look, I mean, it's it's like, it's amazing how in Britain, the people are so brainwashed by their government, they're so stupidly, moronically brainwashed by the government that they're having protests and all, so that Britain is actually unsafe. It's rendered unsafe. Nigeria, the Middle East, um, and a few other countries, 
have rendered Britain unsafe for travels, and very rightly so. Um, Britain and America have always been trying to create false narratives amongst other countries whenever they want to manipulate other countries' situations, and then they call them unsafe and they stop travels to those countries. And yet Britain was a country that continued to insist on sending its planes to Pakistan when we were amidst COVID. Remember that. And then that time, we still did not call Britain unsafe until we could actually safely take care of our own people in the midst of it all. The only Pakistan did not contract a single case of COVID from China because China worked with Pakistan immediately, swiftly and thoroughly. But Britain refused to work with Pakistan. Iran refused to work with Pakistan. And these two countries are the countries that brought COVID into Pakistan. Let's just make that clear. So I'm so glad that just because of the protests and the moronic situation in Britain, Nigeria, Middle East, and a few other countries have got the guts to render the UK unsafe for travel. Because the UK indeed is unsafe. It's a dangerous country right now. I would not recommend the UK for travels in any case in the next 10 to 15 years, the, Brit the British country, the British people, they're going to implode within. And very rightly so, because if you're going to continue getting brainwashed by your government, what else do you want? You know, look at us. We are refusing to get brainwashed by our government. Our government is literally taking dictation from your government, from the American government. It is working in cahoots with the Indian government just to commit treason and to shut down our country so that they can hand over our country to the Americans and the British once again. And here we are. We're going against them. This is what a, a truly woke nation means. Woke has been used very wrongly by the Western world, like many other words. Okay, this is what you call truly being woke. When you are up and ready to tackle with all the lies, all the false narratives, when you've refused to shut your eyes and you've decided to keep your eyes wide open, stay vigilant, and call a spade a spade. Although we still have many of those, you know, stupid morons within Pakistan as well, who would say that, oh, you know, they're living in fantasy world, they're living in this moronic, delusional world, where they say, if you think positive, positive things will happen. 77 years. 77 years Pakistanis have been sitting on their asses and thinking positive and this is where we're standing right now. You better rethink your thoughts. When it comes to the people of Murray and Lahore, well, they surprised everybody. Um, the people of Murray actually gathered into a huge crowd on the mall and uh, over there they literally um, started, you know, chanting um, about Imran Khan and about freeing Imran Khan and you know about Pakistan so they made their they basically made themselves very clear as to where they stand the people of Lahore too actually surprised finally a lot of people after a long time uh, when they suddenly just gathered at, uh, in Liberty Chalk and then you know trust Lahore is to be very creative in whatever they do uh, when they put their minds to it so true to the uh, original Lahori spirit, they decided, oh, okay, we're not supposed to be carrying the flags uh, because then the police people will come and they'll beat us up and say we're PTI people. Okay. They just tied up those flags and a bunch of balloons and just let them fly all up in the air. And they're like, okay, go catch whoever it is. There are ghosts in the air that are flying PTI flags. Go catch them. So we've got that. Kudos, kudos. Um, in fact, basically, at Imran Khan's call, the whole of Pakistan has indeed come out. They came out since last night. They've been literally calling for true freedom and they've been calling for the freedom of Imran Khan. They've been calling for the retirement of this government, the retirement of the army chief. They've been calling for justice. <clears throat> they've been calling for true freedom. Okay, so don't you even think about believing all those news outlets, all those media narratives that are going to tell you that people have come out in huge numbers to celebrate the independence. No, we're not celebrating the Independence Day. We're mourning the fact that we are not independent and we are celebrating the fact that we should be independent and we are calling for real independence and we are calling for Imran Khan to be let out. That is what it's all about. And the whole Pakistan is out. Also, do not misunderstand this part. 
the government has tried to censor the media the, the fact that the government is censoring the media and then justifying the fact that it needs to censor um, that freedom of speech does not mean unlimited freedom of speech and blah de blah you know what in Islam freedom of speech is exactly that unlimited freedom of speech you better get your facts straight this is me signing out for the Hafiz